Hello, I'm Ritz Blues, and this is Tarzan VR. As you can see, we have this lovely assault of our eyes right off the bat with these fun little cards that pop up in our face. Especially these. From the heart of the jungle comes totally not nauseating. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. Lord of the jungle. Whoa. Boom! Tarzan VR. Just gonna reset our save data. Warp to home. Okay, so Tarzan VR, originally a PlayStation VR game, was originally port uh, that was eventually sure ported to other platforms, including Steam you and think? Oculus. I mean, he is fairly handsome, intelligent, and so on, but he is no. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start here in just a second. But as you can see, the uh, there's three different books here, three different chapters. We're gonna complete all three of them. Uh, for the, the speed run today. It should take a little under half an hour. Uh, we'll go ahead and Life of trigger the start here. The run starts as soon as the load doodad disappears. So, wait for this right here. So as soon as this is done, three, two, one, go. I am Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. So, issue one, we're already able to move, like even right now. Jane asks us for those co coconuts, uh, but we're not going to pick them up. up. some trees and collect some coconuts for us? They're so refreshing. Mwah. Oh, no. Who are you? There she is. Grab her. We need her alive. Get your hands off me. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Tarzan, help. Keep her quiet. Quick, Jane was in trouble. Person. So now we have to rescue her. Tarzan, you follow me now. We hear screams. Jane in trouble. Bad men attack us. Take Juri and Babu. Follow. So this is a Tarzan game, which means, of course, the king of the jungle gets to swing on vines, Tarzan, fight bad guys using primitive and techniques, swing and win. Your arms like me to run um, but Tarzan also has to run fast to get from place to place. And so in order to run fast, we have to pump our fists up and down. And that's the primary means of moving around. Otherwise, we have these vines every so often that are quite useful. You just sort of magically stretch to your hand once the grab symbol appears. I am Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. Please, please, pretty please, please, please. I guess we're dead. <laughs> That's never happened before. Anyway. So, most of the time, these work very nicely, but sometimes they just don't want to work. I don't know if I just have to like point my hand at a specific angle to get them to work, but anyway, sometimes you swing like uh, Tarzan and other times it feels like you swing like George of the Jungle. But our primary means of getting through these barriers is going to be uh, bringing the gorillas from the cages. Tarzan, this way. But yeah, um, if you're a VR developer and you want to add motion controls to your game, like the swinging mechanics, that's fine. Like, that's great. But please don't make people run like this. It's really exhausting. It's really good on my uh, arm muscles, I guess. So yeah, this game uh, came out only a few years ago, but it looks like it came out in like the mid-90s, graphically speaking. Watch yourself a cutscene. Tarzan, thank you. I see many bad men. I fight many bad men, but they take Jane. Yes, Mogo C2. Bad men take Jane towards Sky Tree, where Great Ape live. Where I'm Tarzan lives. Come Tarzan. Show Tarzan Sky Tree. Fight bad men. Protect Tarzan. Babu no go with Tarzan. Too dangerous, Babu. Babu stay. You're too small to fight bad men. Very dangerous. Uh, Mogo will, will go with Tarzan Mogo to fight. Strong. Mogo fearless, but Mogo not stupid. Tarzan will go much better this way. I like how Mogo starts responding before uh, Zazu even says like that Mogo should go. I caught the scent of man some time ago. So here's another element of the game that is not very well designed. Here's combat. Um, let's see. Okay, with that. 
All right, we won. Yay, Tarzan almost lost a fight against two soldiers, because that's how Tarzan works. Luckily, uh, Tarzan is fueled by coconut and very easy to uh, heal up that way. Tarzan. If you find so we're going to be avoiding soldiers in combat for most of the game. Dynamite is a good way to kill soldiers and also a good way to kill yourself, so we're not going to do that. Here's a little sequence where He's down Otis down flies away in his Slow helicopter him down. with Jane. Tarzan, up here. We're going to ignore our weapon, the mighty axe. It's not useful in this chapter and it takes a while to get it, so we're just going to skip it. Don't need it. Tarzan is not afraid. exact timing and bravery. Okay, I think I actually figured out a strat for how to use, like, the vines and stuff better. Uh, it turns out, and this is literally me discovering it after several playthroughs, where you point the uh, controller is actually almost like a laser point. Like, you tilt kind of your wrist at the vine you want. That's the best way to do it. So, it does actually matter. You don't just hold your hand straight up. You actually aim at them. So, I say that. Oh no. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're gonna ignore that other guy. We rescued that gorilla, but now we have uh, this lovely anachronism to check out. Pancakes, dipping them in syrup, and just stuffing them in his in his mouth. Oh yeah, baby, baby, I found it, I found it. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, dude, check this out, folks. And it turns out to be this motherfucker. But you're hearing the voice of a beautiful woman. And he's like, oh yeah, baby, I love you. And look at that, look at that. He's just straight, oh my God, holy moly. Yeah, so this guy is in like, he's in a VR world and he basically is, that's kind of the future that we're looking at where you don't know who's gonna be on the other end of the line. He was literally taking pancakes dipping them in syrup and just stuffing them in his in his mouth oh yeah baby baby i found it, I found it. so that's the short one yeah that's that that's uh that's the boom box that's the pancakes one um <laughs> i don't know why that is in the game but it's in the game it sure is a thing and there's like five i found at least five different you. audio clips that will play on loop there out of that boom box uh that's the the VR pancakes uh -huh. dipped in syrup. Um, there's also one where he talks about uh, there being aliens. Where are the aliens? Um, there's one where he talks about Mondays being the best day of the week. Um, and there's another one where he talks about humans eventually becoming like blobs that live inside of uh, tubes that are stuck in their VR worlds or something. I don't know. It's so weird, it's so meta, and it is so out of place, and I love it. Um, Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and rescue this next gorilla here. We're going to run away from spiders because they take forever to kill. I came as quickly as I could. And I don't have my weapon. And we have no vines to quickly dispatch them. Actually, the vines that we will get are further up ahead, but I'm not going to use them until spiders are going to use them to move ahead. There he is! He's over there! Help, Tarzan! I need you! Fly faster! Faster, you fool! <laughs> oh my god, this works so much better now. Okay, okay. A little bit, a little bit towards the jungle, but we're okay. Alright. So now we're making our way up here. Here's Brutus with Jane. Thanks for the information, you stinking ape! Tarzan, I'm up here! Follow us! Your girlfriend is gonna help us! Stay out of my way! I also like how his helicopter flies backwards to escape. Not much time. So Marcos is dead. So listen closely. But now his ghost is apparently dying? I don't know. What um, must not be he's doing his best Mufasa impression. The door to the valley. So that's the plot. We have Much to open the door to the Valley of Forever. Too great to he told Brutus, the bad guy, hands. about three of the keys. There are three keys. Not easy to find. So we need to get through this door, and I haven't the found a skip to get through here yet, but if I do, it would probably save about a minute and, and a half, two minutes. 
the like world. I can peek through it, and I know there's like Batman geometry that, that suggests I might be able to go around it, but the motion Jane. controls are such that it's so not likely that I'm ever actually going to make it through. To them location of keys only Marcus so. knows of an old key. Fourth? Oh. The most so yes, we need the feather, the flower, and the key. pearl, and a fourth key. Fine. Oh, We're gonna find all those in the next two chapters, because this is the end of chapter one. Batman from entering the valley of forever. Keep jungle insane. So I like how whenever Tarzan runs, he uh, he sounds like getting hit in uh, Goldeneye. He's just panting all the time. No matter how short of a distance, he's just like <laughs> every time he runs. All right, so that's the end of chapter one, Zonk. So each chapter sends us back to the hub world, so we're just gonna pop that open and start that up. Let's throw some plates. Only Tarzan can see the just break because they can, I guess. Anyway. So chapter two. We're actually running in the in the intro here, but I'm not gonna go too far. I think that's probably good enough. There we go. Perfect. This for you. Remember? Almost. But we're still looking at the title card, and we already have our first weapon. Or this is actually the second weapon, the first one. We have. It is a slingshot. It's necessary for completing this. Um, that's one of the only places you ever actually have to use it. Uh, but there are other places where it is useful. Remember, Tarzan, don't you, old friend? The jungle holds no mysteries for those who are part of it. So, like, I don't want to die. So this introduces a new mechanic in the game where uh, we get to use Tarzan's patented chest beat and hands to face yell at Unity Lion here, Unity Assets Lion. And uh, Unity Lion is going to help us uh, kill these guards in the next room here. Because even though we have this like magical slingshot, it does no damage and is not a good weapon. So we do want to Give, give the lion a chance to stop it. So, okay. He's down there in the jungle. Slow him down. Tarzan, up here. I'm up here. Oh, I see you down there, Tarzan. Kill him. I really wish there was a way to skip this next segment, but unfortunately there is not. And so now we get to climb the rope. So we have to climb these ropes to get across this like smoldering pit of spikes. If this were a marathon run, you'd throw it to donations at this point, because there's really nothing to be said here other than here's motion controls. And again, as cool as this mechanic uh, is and seems and how like immersive it is for a speed run, this is agonizing. Because if you miss, you die, so... intention of going to the inferno in the near future. So be very careful not to fall. It has happened before and I do not want it to happen again. I've met so many So here we have Southern Drawl my jungle. Gorilla who doubles as radio DJ. On the boombox. We're gonna save him. We missed, so we just punch it open. There is much danger. Okay, so our next segment here is the zip line. This is exactly the correct way to be going up these hills, not not the rope course. So, um, 
yeah, here's a waterfall they turned red to make the lava, you know, reused assets is a good way to make games. You just don't know when Seriously. to quit. I like how okay, um, that's it. I've had Tarzan's enough of you. Knock him off that thing. Do whatever you have to do, but it's time to end this now. So we're gonna swing back here, kill these two guys here. Come on. Here we go. Alright, they're dead. Shoot that barrel. Missed. There we go. Shoot this guy and then oh, shoot that and move. No Good advancement. Please so now we're coming up on the hardest segment of the run, or at least chapter two's hardest segment, others. which is this He's gauntlet dangerous. up ahead here. And I'm actually just going to uh, throw myself off the edge here and get back uh, by killing myself because I want full health for this segment here. So we have to dodge this rocket. I don't know where the other guy is. There's normally a guy here. I don't know. Did he fall asleep? I guess he fell asleep. Oh, there he is. I don't know what he's doing, but anyway. Normally that guy gets, like, bodied by a rocket in the, the second shot there. He missed. I'm gonna get sniped. Oh, I got sniped. That sniper is the worst thing in this level. Okay, this is normally what happens, which is this other guy here just comes with one and eats a rocket in the back. past these guys. Oh god. Uh, yeah. right, cool. We're good. Alright, we made it. So the guy who is bald there for a second, who's not wearing a helmet, uh, these guys, um, yeah, they, they take you out super fast. So. Um, and using the, um, huh? trying to use the, uh, trying to use the, um, please. No. Please no. Yeah, all right, cool. Kill me. No? Okay. Well, he won't kill me. That's fine. Grab these coconut bits here. Oh, there it is. Where did he come from? I guess the guy phased through the wall and caught up with me? I have no idea. But anyway, checkpoint. Now he's gone. Um, so yeah, here's the boss fight with Jacker 2. Let's see if this knocks sense into you. Button. Push the button. And then we just aim for those rings. We also want to avoid kind of the middle area so that we don't get hit by uh, that. Right, that is a very fast boss kill. So we're going to run in here. There's four rocket launchers. We're not going to fight any of them. We're just going to grab this and say goodbye. No, the feather. Two more keys left. Good luck catching up. Sorry, Tarzan. No room on board. Better luck next time. I like how his helicopter blades turn one way, but the shining, like, flaming graphic that goes over it doesn't. Uh, that's really, really cool. Also, Jane is very smart. She buckled up. That's good. I mean, if you're going to get kidnapped, that's the way to do it. So, no matter which way you fly, you always get brought down over here. Who are the jungle? Who are bro? So that's the end of chapter two. There's only one chapter to go, chapter three. So once again, we're gonna load up, come over here, grab chapter three and open it. Of men and women at stake, only Tarzan can save life. All right, so chapter three, we have a bit of a ways to run at the beginning before we get started, so I'm gonna start moving right up the bat. I am Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. Or if it helped. All right, yep, here's Babu. 
It is me, Babu Strong Gorilla. You are strong. lucky I found you. Yeah. Keeping you safe. Good friend I am. And so brave. Brave until this Please point. Me up. Mother say I not go out after dark. Mother be worried about me. Help. I have this for you. That, please. I, Thank you. So now I leave you. Please, let Go! Me so, chapter 3 gives us the bow, which is an incredibly good weapon compared to that god awful slingshot we had. Haha, crack shot. So, we want to shoot the locks off of things. Again, we're not going to use dynamite, it's worthless. Uh, we're pretty much going to run past unnecessary combat. If enemies aren't going to aggro us directly, we're just going to run right by. I was going to say, please kill him. And make no sudden movements. Okay. So we're making our way through the spider's den here in chapter 3. Brutus got the first of the, the, the keys that are needed to reach the Valley of the Forever. Or open the door to the Valley of the Forever because there's so many things. Now we're going to try and get the flower, which is guarded at the spider's den by the spider queen. So hopefully you guys love spiders, or if you don't, you will uh, enjoy me killing a bunch of things. So that's what we're going to be doing here for about 30 minutes. the fact that they put a little comic aesthetic to the game. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes not so much. God, we got the hands. Ah, the freaky hands. For whatever reason, Tarzan's hands open up like this, and he's all like, "Blah, spider!" That's when he runs away. It's great. I don't know why we get that that glitch in all places, but right there. But I love it. Call to all who know you as Lord. I would dare the steel jaws of death for you, my goddess. segment we just run past everything because it's not worth fighting a hundred guards for. The jungle holds no mysteries for those who are part of it. I like how we're swinging very low to the water right now. I feel like I've unlocked like speed run mode by doing it this way. Hang on. So I think we just do that. Alright, this is bad. Great. Okay, we can get out of the water. Cool. Up. Grab that pearl. Now we are done. That's two keys already. If you need to fight any bosses, ready to get that one. Please? Hello? Water is terrible. Don't land in water. Cool. Alright. So now we are coming up on the final checkpoint in the game. Kill that guy. Alright, got it. 
So now we're going to come over here and just sort of chill and let the helicopter fly around us here in this safe spot here. Oh, he's flying fast. And that's his Pacquiao. The very nothing else. Last item. Now, thank you so much for bringing the keys to us at exactly the right time. And there we go. Good boss fight. The feather. We got the feather. Zip. Oh, come on. I made it over. You should, at least you can do is let me actually go over the door, even though I have the feather for it. Wait a minute. The boss no, isn't really dead. Oh, no. Yeah. I've had enough of you. He took an arrow to the knee. I absolutely love those lines. It's just like the dialogue there at the end. It's just so stupid. Alright, so time is almost up here. It'll happen as soon as the uh, game loads back into the final Tyson, segment. But I'm unfortunately, James is injured badly. I don't think. No, no other think. description as to why. No, no, Jane, don't die. The heart of the last. That's the last key? Whoa. The feather. The feather. The flower. The flower. The pearl. The pearl. A fourth key. The most important. The heart, the heart beats bum, bum, inside bum, you. Bum, 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 and Jane. Bum, bum. I, I'm starting to feel better. Oh, thank you, Tarzan. Thank you. Yay! We saved Jane. That's the end. Tarzan, I love you so much. Hooray. And... That's time. So yeah, that's Tarzan VR. Uh, as you can see, there's more to it than just that. Um, there were a bunch of records that I never collected and Are things like sure that. Like if we were to ever do 100%, which I've never completed. What? We can huh? find these little records. Did you say something? Um, the main hub world is actually a, uh, a very open what world like kind of area. Today? Even though there's if no vines, you can still climb like, alone, on top I would of vote for that and one. stuff. Um, and move around and the toucan will talk to you and berate you everywhere you go. You can pick up little items and sometimes you'll get audio clips. And then we have this uh, audio disc here has like slaps harder than it has any right to. Probably the very best thing about this game. Oh good, I can run. The last time I was in the hub world, it broke my running animation. I couldn't run at all. I shall help. So we're gonna go on a little swim here. My name is Tarzan. That's as far as we can swim. Like, there's supposedly other ways to swim, but Tarzan, I haven't swim. figured it out yet. And like, I can't tell if like I'm supposed to just like move my hands and not the stick. The only information at all suspicious of you. But once I get back on the ground, it's much better. So stay, my name is Tarzan. stay out of the water. Here. Here's Jane with her hoodies. Look at me. She wants another coconut, so I'm not right. We're gonna go do this the way that uh, the game started us here with this oversized coconut. Here, you go. Oh, no. here, one for me and one for you. No, you don't want to split it. Of the jungle. One for you. How about a hat? You want a hat? Guess not. Well, all right. It's Tarzan in VR. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching.